So, uh, Reddit's a very good time for its members and community and participants. Why is it more important than just a good time? Uh, what is it about the form of Reddit as a piece of software, as a piece of infrastructure, or as a set of rhetorical tools? Well, I mean, yeah, so I think the important difference with Reddit is that anyone can create a subreddit. So What's a subreddit? So a subreddit is a almost like a sub-community. So we have subreddits for everything from uh, yeah, local cities to antique cars, guns, um, cognitive psychology, any type of programming. About language. how many? So how many subreddits? We have about six thousand that have more than a hundred subscribers and that have been active in the last thirty days. So there's there's tens of thousands out there, but at least six thousand that are you know are very active in the last thirty days. And that that has allowed people to create things on the Reddit platform, things like IAMA, where people will do sort of crowdsource interviews and that, say, That's I am a, yeah, as so an I am a skydiver <laughs> who jumps right. into forest fires. I am a, uh, you know, uh, staffer on Capitol Hill. I am a high school teacher who was fired because they hugged a student, you know, any any of these sorts of things. Or I am a, I am a TV actor. Um, so, uh, so let's talk about that yeah. for a moment. So, because I actually it's one of my favorite, and I think one of the most interesting mm -hmm. rhetorical forms to come out of. Yeah. So somebody declares that he or she is a person or uh, I am a, or an expert in a, right, sorry, obviously is a person, yeah, thank you. Um, and then there is community questioning of that right. person. Uh, the first question is, how, how do we know that person actually is sure. that? So kind of the burden of proof is on the person who's posting. Um, some people who, you know, someone's saying they're a high school teacher, um, you, know, you may just have to take their word for it, and, and you can choose to believe them or not. If someone's a celebrity or you know, stating they are a particular individual, then they have to prove it. Usually, it's by Twitter. Um, you know, post something on their website. Yeah, sometimes people post or a photo, a photo with a sign that says "Hi yeah. Reddit" or something. Yeah. So you know, the, if, if you're claiming to be a celebrity, you've got a, a little, little bit of a higher bar. Kidnap proof. hostage thing with those photos, by the way. It, it, it worked very no, no, well, it, but pulls up a recent right. newspaper. Yeah, no, that's a good a crazy <laughs> typewriter. It would be a, it would be a nice addition. Um, <laughs> Yeah, and, and so the nice thing about those is... Uh, and, and, and I'm sorry, uh, yeah. do, does Reddit assume any responsibility for doing authentication? No, no. I mean, with all of these subreddits, whether it's IAMA, whether it's Ask Science, whether it's a local subreddit, you know, it, it's a platform so that, you know, we are not... Um, vouching uh, for the authenticity of any of the stuff posted there. Um, you know, we don't we don't uh, double check the advice in the fitness Reddit. Um, you know, it's it's sort of uh, powered by the community. You know, crowdsourced. So you know, the 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 votes um, and the comments uh, are what you know kind of uh, authenticates something. So um, and the moderators of IAMA and some of the other Reddits do you know or Ask Science they do go in and validate, okay, this person is an expert in uh, elemental geology. How do you become a moderator? Uh, you become a moderator by, so anyone who creates a subreddit, so if you start a subreddit for a certain topic, you are then the top moderator. And you can then bring in other moderators under you. So the, the creator of the subreddit has sort of ownership of the moderator. So the, the chain of authenticity ends with somebody just saying, yeah, I'm, I'm interested in that, or yeah. I am an expert. Yes. It's not the way credentialing is supposed to work. Nevertheless, it does seem to work. Are there right. lots of instances of, of moderators who are, in fact, phonies? Um, I wouldn't say moder. I mean, moderators who are phonies get, you know, the, the, the community is a pretty good nose for, for you know, for um, people who are trying to game the system or people hoaxes. So, you know, and there might be some, but most of them get found out pretty quick. Um, and people have, you know, for example, Ask Science, the moderators have gone in and actually recruited experts, you know, people who are, you know, professors at universities or experts in you know, uh, combinatorial chemistry or uh, astrophysics to then answer questions um, that people bring in to ask science. And so that, there is a sort of verification in that subreddit, but it differs. Other subreddits, there's no verification. So it's, it's really, um, you know, each one of these subreddits is its own sort of mini community. So I'll tell you one of the main reasons I like IMI, IMA, excuse me. No, there's no, there's no right way. <laughs> Well, there is when you get the letters wrong, so anyway, uh, is that um, the community, if that's the right word for it, um, it's the set of people who are participating. Yes. I hesitate on the word community because it tends to imply a sort of um, uh, deep intimacy and self-knowledge, uh, yeah. in, in, inter-knowledge, in any case. Um, 
they raise questions that often journalists don't ask, but that are frequently exactly the sorts of questions you want to ask this person. And sometimes rude questions are always yeah. very frank. Yeah. Well, not always, but frequently very, very frank questions. That seems to be part of the ethos of, uh, of Reddit. Yeah, it's a sort of, I mean, I, it's a sort of forthrightness that I don't think you find in traditional, you know, whether it's a serious discussion or whether it's just, you know, uh, a celebrity, you know, you don't find that kind of unbuttoned, forthright questions on um, on, a, on a press junket, usually. And, and You don't get them on Sunday morning news no. shows either, right. frankly. And, and, and also, I think, just the Plus, the, 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 the community then discusses among itself, and the thread right. sometimes peel off into uh, humor and snarkiness, frequently yes. very, very funny, by right. the way, right. uh, but also can uh, extend the questioning in ways that, again, you just don't frequently right. so get. so people are fact-checking in the comments, they're linking, you know, someone will ask a question and people say, why are you wasting a question, why are you wasting this person's time with the question they've answered ten different ways, here's links to the YouTube video where they already answered it, let's have them answer a new question. So there's this, uh, you know, um, the Reddit community is very uh, aware that, you know, whoever's giving us their time to answer these questions has a limited amount of it and we want to ask them new questions and they, they'll search the internet to, to kind of, you know, um, uh, to, you know, provide answers to questions they've already, they've already addressed. So uh, hopefully, you know, some new questions, some, some things they haven't thought of uh, come up. So do you, see, do you see this particular rhetorical form as well as others? I mean, memes spread out, yes. of, uh, out of Reddit all the time, but um, this particular rhetorical form of frank community discussion, just as you've been describing it, um, possibly spreading beyond Reddit, or is there something about the Reddit community and infrastructure that is special, if not unique? Um, I hope so. I mean, I've started to see the, the, you know, and I think the interesting part of the Ask Me Anything, I mean, the interesting part of I Am a, that I hope spreads is this idea of ask me anything because usually when interviews are arranged by publicists or handlers or whatever, they want to stick to the certain topic and the, the ask me anything part, um, even if the questions tend to center around one particular topic or something in the news, the idea that they're going to be responsive to almost any question I think is, is uh, you know, puts them on a more, puts them on in a different place with the audience than if they're just going to talk about what what they want to talk about there. So I've seen that I've seen that start to spread a little bit. And I hope it continues. Are there any subreddits you are queasy about? Queasy? Yeah, there's yeah. tons. Um, there's pornographic subreddits. There's this is your chance to uh, distance yourself at least a little bit from the really reprehensible. Uh, yeah, no, there are there there's stuff that's not safe for work. Bait, there's say, yeah. there's stuff that's not safe for work. There's stuff that's not safe for anyone. I mean, there's things that are um, horrible that I you know I'm not proud of. I don't personally like, but you know we are an open platform, and if stuff some you know and we monitor to make sure things are legal and beyond that um, you know it's an open platform and you know just like Twitter or Tumblr or uh, you know, Google any of those things it's um, there's stuff on there that's extremely offensive and and you know yeah reprehensible but um, we don't uh, you know we're not an editorial site so if something's legal we uh, even we if barely it. even if barely okay um, thank you very much you're welcome